All right, my lovers, I'm back. It is Thursday, February 22nd. I am a little later than expected. If you wanna know why, check out the YouTube quick update from yesterday. I share why I've not been back as soon as I wanted to. I've had to take a few extra days of bed rest to rest myself. Anywho, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope this video finds you doing really well and or mustering through this crazy thing we call life. Prayers to all the people that are in deep suffering. Now let's get into some messages for today. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, uh, meaning the, the way I lay the cards, the way I interpret the cards is pure intuition, reign supreme. I think like all of these modalities and things, you gotta be resonating with your practitioner. So if you be resonating, feel free to book a private reading. Otherwise, it's great to be here with you guys. Yes, it is great to be here. I've missed it very much. <laughs> and uh, God, you know, when your body goes through stuff, it's just like depth of you're not in control. We can try to be in control. It doesn't, I don't think it's real. I think it's an, illu an illusion. All right. Divine guidance and loving clarity is my intention with tarot. Divine guidance and loving clarity. Let's see what we get for February 22nd. My love is supreme. Oh, I've missed you guys. Divine guidance and loving clarity. Great to see you on the YouTube channel. And it's great to be back here on Instagram. Great start. Fucking awesome, you guys. Oh, wow. Holla Shazam. It's a joyful day. It's just, well... I'm sure there's some astrological stuff going on that's meaning like this could be a great renewal in the family life, relationship life. The sun is shining on a happy, joyful family. So this is a really beautiful energy. Divine guidance and love and clarity. Sun is supporting the renewal. Renewal energy, I often think there's a little kid on the horse. Horses are very adaptable, compassionate creatures. Uh, even empathic or sensitive. So there's a sense of being reborn uh, into your innocence, right? With the family card next to it. I mean, for some of you, I'm getting there could be a, a child that is being born um, or conceived and or simply the family dynamic. The family itself is going through a renewal. Your sense of joyful, happy family uh, is going through a renewal. I did see a nine of cups reverse, so I'm sensing there maybe was a bit of turbulence or maybe distance. And so now you're like, yay, hala hala. This is such a joyful reading. Thanks, guys, and necessary. <laughs> Divine guidance and loving clarity for my love and lovers. Yeah, it's uh, the star reverse would be like going through a patch of healing. Um... Yeah, hence the renewal energy. So those of you in, in, in a partnership as such, it could be that you or your partner have had to have had to really work on something to the point of being maybe distant from the family circle, from the family dynamic. Maybe one was feeling a bit neglected or a bit like left out because the other person was working so hard. The, the other person is manifesting something new. So they're manifesting maybe a new way of working, a new way of making money, a new way of generating income. Of course, you can reverse the roles. This can be you having to work on something and you're, gener you're wanting to generate more money. That focus has just pulled you away a little bit from the family, from the home base, as it were, right? So there's been some healing here. And or simply a return, a, a return, like I work, like legit working away, working away from the home, taking you away from that, that from that home base, right? But I am getting a sense one, one person's in the, in the dynamic did go through a bit of a like missing the other person or feeling a little bit uh, left out maybe. Uh, there's something else coming through with us. Six of Cups. Uh, Six of Cups is return, but it's in the reverse next to the hard, hard work card. Uh, um, this is something else. Uh, again, we're, when we read for general readings, bearing in mind there can be kind of different uh, narratives, different stories going on within one day's reading, right? And I, I, I sometimes will intuit it. For some of you, it might all connect. Some of you, none of it will connect, etc. 
Uh, but this Eight of Wands is like messages coming in. Your back is turned on this return though. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I am getting a sense of somebody from the past might be coming back for some of you. Offering up a choice or having to balance some choices or having to balance. I mean, it's highly, highly likely. It is, it's, it's either work or love related. Work or, you know, home, love, family related. Uh, maybe all the hard work one person's putting in is bringing about new opportunities. You're going to get those messages. Those opportunities are going to mean like, eh, it's going to, it's going to hang in the balance as it were, right? The working life. The working life or the love life. The, the, I mean, regardless, this, this, the sun with the, the 10 of cups is just such a juicy, brilliantly awesome combo. You know, it's joyful, it's happy, there's renewal, there's a really positive sense of good tidings and like a peaceful, happy, abundant home life. I'm hearing something about at what cost. So it's the reality of how wonderful that is and yet it, co it can cost, right? So one person is having to work extra hard to keep this going or one person is wanting to generate um, more pentacles for themselves so they're not as focused on the love or the renewal. So I'm going to get a few more cards for further clarity and uh, spiritual guidance. I do really get a sense that there's messages, things hanging in the balance in the Six of Cups. So it's like while you're working really hard, or while, your par or while your partner's been working really hard, I get a sense of somebody praying for you or you praying for somebody else. There's some exhaustion here. This is somebody that you're connected to. A familial relation, an old soulmate, somebody from your past more than likely. Six, I do think messages are coming through that could, th that could feel as though the potential to throw the balance off is here. Regardless, there's definitely somebody here really focused on money and generating new pentacle, generating new money. So if you're in this familial situation and the partner's working really hard to generate money, I would say, you know, try to focus on that, like try to support that person in that endeavor. If it's you, it might, it might be some conversations. It might just be some clear, concise conversations a little bit about like the direction we're going in. Like we're here together now. Are we going to go in this direction together kind of thing? It's almost like there's new options opening up. And I do get a sense like with all the joy and all the happiness of the sun and the, and the ten of cups. Um, I just get a sense of like a still a bit of a lack of clarity. Or maybe there's still emotional healing to be done to to gain the clarity to know that this is the direction I want to move in. I mean, there's the this healing card has come through. Uh, for some of you, this could be about familial healing as an ancestral generational healing. You know, I'm aware that that oh any healing any healing anyone I've now got a whole bunch of healing energy here. So for some of you, there's definitely something pointing towards that generational ancestral familiar healing. Yeah. And I'm aware that stuff is, is out there. Uh, we could always go, go deeper into those dialogues on the YouTube channel. Uh, but it's an ongoing process. And, and as a generation, we're, you know, we're always all evolving and changing and growing and hellish is amming. <laughs> so what, what? So all of this healing card, all of these healing cards are like, okay, this, this, this is probably the whole family going through a whole healing or you're in, initiating this work to then move things forward. That's also healing, um, ancestral stuff. So Mercury is messages. There is the eight of wands over there. So I'm like, 
I'd be curious. Some of you are going to get some messages come through more than likely about work. Something that might feel like it could throw you off balance. And I feel like this is a good thing because there's definitely somebody working really hard. And this person is working hard for the whole, by the way. Like whoever is the hard worker in this situation is doing it for everybody. The family, the, the, the kids, the partner, right? Or it's you. You're working hard. And so if people are giving you a shtick for working hard, you might just be like, yo, I'm here and I'm wanting to do this, that, and the other, and we're healing this and we're going to move forward. It's just a bit uncomfortable because I'm away so much, or it's a bit uncomfortable because uh, we need to make sure we're on the same page kind of thing. Yeah, and for some of you, there could be a bit of a sideline message about somebody from the past coming back or receiving messages from somebody from your past. Mm, I mean, some of you might ignore it. Definitely curious about those messages coming in, though, that might throw you off, off balance. It could be really good. Like, hence, Sun card, Ten of Cups. This message coming in, I think, are going to be positive messages. More money, more abundance, credit, kickback. Uh, lots of healing that you're doing, good work, and or you are on the precipice. There's definitely some more healing coming through that's also part and parcel of manifesting new beginnings and new ways of making money. All right, my lovers. That's your reading for Feb 22, 24. How the Shazam. It's good to be here. I'm happy that I'm feeling better. If you want to know why I've been off extra few days, go check out the YouTube channel. Quick update. I share a little bit. It's not cool or fun or anything. <laughs> Madeira was fun though. So holla shazam to Yo Town and all the crew that that we all got to hang out together. It was super, super awesome. Okay guys, have an awesome day. Love you loads. Peace.